Oh, we are coming into the house of the Lord. Okay, this is the Cathedral of Monaco. And as you can see, it's very beautiful, very, very majestic, you know, like most cathedrals are. All right, this cathedral was built in 1875. It was actually dedicated to St. Nicholas. And this is where Prince Rainier III and Princess Grace Kelly were actually married. Check out this mystery lady. The whole time I'm here, I never see her face, okay? I just want you guys to know this. <laughs> She's going to make another appearance, okay? She really likes me. Um, this cathedral actually houses the tombs of all of the former princes of Monaco. It also houses the tomb of Princess Grace Kelly. I will not show the, the, the tombs in this clip. All right, but, you know, they, they make the church very, very beautiful. And, of course, on Sundays, uh, you are not allowed to come and tour the, the cathedral, you know, during uh, the service, okay? But you will come here during the Wealth in Action excursion later on this year. Here she is again, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Happy Money Monday, Happy Money Monday. It's early, okay? I wanna say how grateful I am that many of us have chosen to quarantine ourselves and many of us were forced to be quarantined, okay? And that's all fine and good because we're safe, we're, we're with our families, we're with our uh, pets, we're with our friends, okay? I love it. What I wanted to bring to the attention uh, to the Secured Entrepreneur Movement today. All of the entrepreneurs, all of the small business owners, okay? Dick's Sporting Goods did something so spectacular during a time, you know, of, a, of what we consider to be a crisis, okay? And what they did was, after the Parkland school shooting in Florida, and I believe this was back in February 2018, because this is when I took notice, okay? that they made this announcement that they would stop selling semi-automatic weapons and ammunition, okay? But but I heard it as uh, we're going we're going to stop selling semi-automatic weapons. I didn't I didn't hear the ammunition at the at that uh, time. However, what I noticed is that right after this announcement and it is recorded, their stock went up. The stock went up 13%. Okay, because what Dick's Sporting Goods recognized is that now we have a, 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 a concerned group of consumers, a very concerned group of consumers who have been affected by this school shooting. Okay, and what we want to do is show our customers that we care. Okay, so we're gonna serve with excellence and you all know that Miss Aurora is big on serving with excellence, okay? So, the stock goes up 13%. They do a test a few months later, they stop selling the semi-automatic weapons in 10 stores. Why did the sales in those 10 stores increase? Okay, so the sales increased. Then, I think it was last March, they stopped selling the semi-automatic weapons and ammunition in 125 more stores. The sales increased. Okay. <laughs> now they have announced that they will discontinue the sale of semi-automatic weapons and ammunition in 440 more stores. They've got 827 stores uh, across the country. So they're gonna stop selling these semi-automatic weapons and the ammunition, okay? Why did they report a 47% increase in net sales last quarter? $2.6 billion net sales in the fourth quarter of 2019. The changes that Dick Sporting Goods made in a time when the country, okay, is in a panic as it relates to, to this, this whole 
uh, uh, the, the gun laws and, and, and these individuals who get to carry guns and all of this stuff, dicks came out on the forefront and took action and the, the payoff has been priceless, okay? Because now more and more people, not only, not only do I wanna buy more stock, <laughs> okay? <laughs> do I wanna increase my shares? Because I see what kind of company I'm dealing with here, all right? Now people even feel safer going into their stores, okay? So the question for the secure entrepreneurs today is, how is it that you're going to utilize the, the pros in this particular COVID-19 situation. Everyone is here uh, doing something to take precautions for themselves, but what is it that you've got going on in your business that actually lets your consumers know that you care? Just a question. All right, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and you can find me at auroradayconsulting.com. Until next time, ta-ta.